Okay, this is uh, Zoomy 66 uh, 2x72 belt sander. It can also be used with a 2x60 inch belt by taking these two bolts out and moving this entire assembly back into the next set of uh, holes. Um, it comes with one tool arm versus some of the other brands that have a tool arm for each attachment. Um, that, that really isn't necessary um, if you make the attachments removable. Here's the 8 inch contact wheel. Simply slide it in and give this bolt a couple of turns and it's secure. Take the belt. Belt installation is pretty straightforward. <coughs> Push down on the tensioner, pull it, pull the contact wheel forward, tighten up the clamp knob, and it's uh, ready to go. <coughs> Next step is installing the work rest if you want to use it, depending upon what uh, type of work you got going on at the time. It's a nice sturdy work rest, quarter inch thick plate. Um, I've taken the uh, remote keypad off of the VFD and mounted it, mounted it outside of the enclosure so that it's uh, easily accessible and you're keeping the frequency drive inside of an enclosure to keep the the metal dust exposure to it to a minimum. And uh, hit the start button. No step pulleys as far as speed adjustment on this. It's a, a 5k potentiometer knob to increase the speed. That motor is a three-phase, one-horsepower, 3,450 RPM. Um, we've got the VFD set at 2,500 RPM max. Uh, that's what the bearings are rated for. You really shouldn't need to run it any faster than that anyway, otherwise you start tearing things apart. Um, We've also incorporated, it's kind of a unique feature, in this grinder, I'm going to take the camera off of here. And show you what we've done for ventilation. Here's the, uh, this is a totally enclosed fan cooled motor. It draws air in from the back and directs the air out over the the body of the motor and what we've done is we've taken this uh, junction box and cut open an area so that we've got air directed through this junction box and into the enclosure which creates a positive pressure inside the enclosure uh, keeping dust and debris out and off of the electronics inside, um, it uh, it works out pretty well that way, and you eliminate the need for a standalone axial fan to provide uh, cooling air. Um, you know, and there's the VFD insides kind of a straightforward simple installation um, and again we've got the external keypad
and switch. Very straightforward. Camera back up here. And we'll get into uh, changing accessories. Now, it's easy enough to just remove this work rest. It's just a knob underneath here and a slot with a pin underneath. Holds it very secure. Release the belt tension. Pull the belt off. Again, a single bolt. And the contact wheel is off. And the flat two-wheel platen assembly takes its place. Tighten the bolt back up. And of course you can change the angle of this flat platen in relationship to the work rest which stays stationary. Um, so that's kind of a nice feature. If you want to grind an angle on uh, say a lathe cutting tool or a leaf angle or something like that. Putting it all on, straightforward. Rest. Same thing as uh, same mounting technique as the uh, eight-inch contact wheel. Just a knob underneath. You know, and again, you can set this angle. Um, based on the requirements of your work. Last thing is belt tracking, which is a knob back here. I'll take the camera off again and show you that. Real simple device. You know, you want to run it kind of slow. And you simply turn this knob right here, which adjusts the angle of this idler pulley. And as you can see, moves the belt over tracks it, centers it wherever you want it. That is the latest version of the Zumi 66 2x72 or 2x60 inch uh, knife maker belt sander. Thanks for watching.